It's not just a game, it's riverparishfootball.com. This week's highlights after this. Buckwalder Insurance Group has been serving the River Parishes for over 20 years. With eight licensed service and sales producers, the Buckwalder Insurance Group handles all of your insurance needs. With three convenient locations in Destrahan, Booty, and Kenner, stop by and get a quote. Or just call at 985-764-3833 and compare rates at Buckwalder Insurance Group. Welcome to the Buckwalder Insurance Group Home Studios in Destrehan. I'm Eric Ritchie, and welcome to RiverParishFootball.com's highlights following a 7-1 week that really got the River Parish teams back on track. A 6-2 week this time around, and one of those losses, East St. John's, came to another River Parish team. So plenty of great highlights to get to. Also, homecoming at St. James. We'll paint the picture there. We'll give you the Queens. Also, a very special dedication dedication at Riverside. We start at St. Charles, the defending 3A state champs fired up for 4-1 Port Allen, and so is Garrett and D. Washburn. Fired up in the concession stand, fired up on the field. Comets head coach Frank Monica, even with a 21-0 lead at the half, no let up. Comets have only passed the ball one time in the past two weeks prior to this. Much more balance tonight. Austin Weber to Brandon Zimmer, a screen pass deep inside Pelican territory. Weber would later take it himself, lining up at running back. He had a game-high 67 yards, his ninth rushing touchdown of the season. St. Charles led 28-0. The only player for the Comets with more rushing yards this season than Weber? This guy, Aaron Lewis. Great effort all the way to the inch line. Oh! But the next play, no problemo. Zimmer already had a touchdown reception. Now you can add a rushing touchdown. And St. Charles was in command 35-0. Fourth quarter, number 72. Taylor Cochran lands awkwardly, and that's not good. Sam McMahon, a great game, comes up with the sack. Cochran later would get a smile out, but a tough break for the reigning RiverParishFootball.com Defensive Player of the Year. St. Charles holds on, and the swagger's back. The Comets have now won four straight beating Port Allen 35 to nothing. Overall, you know, I'm giving them the credit in the first half, and I had to kind of rip them a little bit at halftime because I didn't think that we were playing with much emotion. And uh, if we're going to be a, a good football team, we have a lot of room to improve, and uh, especially on the offensive side of the ball. But um, you know, hats off to the our defensive coaches. I think they came here with a good plan. We bent a little bit, but we didn't break. I just need our team to be a little bit more resilient and uh, we've, we've having some mistakes in the, in the backfield that I'm not very pleased with, and, and a lot of it's the decision-making process. Next stop is Riverside, hosting Miller McCoy. Last week, 50-50 tickets. This week, Coretta Jackson selling programs. Buy your program, $3. Before the game, the Mickey Roussel era and the new Bill Stubbs era came together. And what a class move by Riverside, naming their field after longtime head coach, Mickey Roussel. It was on the first day it opened its doors in 1970 and an eager, bright-eyed ninth grader, Mickey Roussel, first walked into the halls of Riverside Academy. It is that day that his love, dedication, and passion started for this school. The Riverside Academy School Board wanted to acknowledge Coach Mickey Roussel's dedication and devotion somehow. Because this field is the one he so affectionately manicured, cared for, nurtured, and mentored on for years, the vote by the board was unanimous to name the field after Coach Mickey. On behalf of Riverside Academy, I'm proud to announce that the Riverside Academy football stadium is now Mickey Roussel Field. Following that dedication, can you say positive mojo? Von Julian in motion. He goes all the way down to the 10-yard line. Riverside hosting Miller McCoy. That Julian run led to a short touchdown run by the reigning Fatties player of the week. There's John Quill Sanders. Start of another big night for the Rebels offense. Deuce Wallace, freshman quarterback, four touchdown passes last week. Four more on this night. Two of them going to fellow freshman wide receiver Herb McGee. The Rebels defense 
had a solid night, taking advantage of the high snap with lightning quickness. Blue shirts all over the Miller-McCoy backfield. At the bottom of the pile, number 11, Trent Fye, one of his two fumble recoveries on the night. Now it's the Rebels offense really starting to click. Sanders rushed for 106 yards on the night, had two rushing touchdowns and a touchdown reception. Then it's Wallace back to the air. 224 yards on the night and McGee just needs one hand to haul in the best touchdown reception our cameras have captured all season. 33-0, Riverside now two in a row. The Rebels are on a roll. Time for us to take another break here in the Buckwalter Insurance Group studios. Still to come, Hanville and East St. John go mano a mano, River Parish style. Remember, call and compare. Kelly Buckwalter at 985-764-3833 for all of your insurance needs. Brock's Automotive and Tire Center is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle's needs. Our experienced certified auto techs offer full service on all makes and models. Alignment, state inspections and brake tags, and a major selection of tires. For complete state-of-the-art auto repairs, AC work, and computer diagnostics, we're right along the river in reserve. Brock's Automotive and Tire Center with 24-hour towing service. Back here in the Buckwalder Insurance Group studios, I'm Eric Ritchie. Let's get right back to the action. Hanville hosting East St. John and the Tigers High Steppers using pink pom-poms to support breast cancer awareness. We pick it up third quarter. Hanville up 19-16, and the Wildcats come out of the locker room inspired. Donnell Rashal up the middle on the return, turns to the right, and he's all the way to the Hanville 44. Leonard Davis trying to take advantage. The quarterback for the Wildcats looking for Jared Jackson. Jackson, but how about Larry Boyd for Hanville? The blanket coverage steps in front for the interception. Fourth quarter, more highlights from the Tigers' defense, and again, it's a pick. Jamal Smith with one of three Hanville interceptions on the night. The secondary got a lot of help from a defensive push up front. Pressure on Davis, and Cornelius Derensburg comes up with the sack. Hanville wins its second straight, both in district play, 26-16 the final. I mean, I can't say enough about my kids. You know, after after last week's game, we looked like uh, Hiroshima after the blast. We had so many guys in the training room, but you know, the next men come in and they do their job. And you know, our kids have a lot of heart. They, you know, they're gonna play tough at home. And now we, you know, we're in the driver's seat. We kind of control our own destiny as far as this district goes. RiverParishFootball.com's Lori Lyons was at this game. Lori, what stood out in this one? Oh, the defense did uh, three. Uh, interceptions, one late in the game to seal the win when East St. John was trying to put together a drive. Um, uh, I think uh, the Hanville stiffened when it needed to and uh, East St. John just had some missed opportunities all, all night long. You the good luck charm for Lou Valden? He said that. He said I had to come back next week because he was 2-0 with me there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off to Destrahan. St. Charles Satellite Center's health care and exploration pathway selling links for breast cancer awareness. There's course coordinator Denise Robichaud. Nice job. Destrahan hosting Eric and Donovan Isom hooks up with his new favorite target. That's Michael Smith. 21-yard touchdown and the Wildcats on the board first. The Patriots were pinned deep. Corey Miller would sack Darrell Williams. Same drive, a botch snap, led to a safety. 9-0 Destrahan. Later, Isom and Smith hook up again. 33-yard touchdown pass this time. Smith had eight catches, 136 yards. Will Matthews, three touchdowns rushing. And Destrahan is 2-0 in district play, winning 42-24. Overall, you know, I just thought that, uh, you know, we scored 42 points. Gave up 24, uh, happy to get a win, but it was just an ugly game, you know, too many mistakes. Uh, we moved the ball pretty good, but we just got to eliminate the mistakes if we're going to be successful. Now. Elsewhere, Lutcher remains perfect, beating St. Michael 25-0. That was a big district 6-4-A win for the Bulldogs. Three scoring drives went over 80 yards. Lutcher 4-0 in district play, 6-0 overall. Rustin Mathern, 20 of 23, 176 yards passing and a touch. 156 more yards on the ground and two more TDs. RiverParishFootball.com senior writer George Becknell. He was at this game. George, how'd it go? Offensive perfection. I mean, it was uh, St. Michael's 
the first two punts, I mean, the punter just boomed the ball, put the ball in deep uh, position for uh, field position for Lutcher, and Lutcher just mounted 15, 16 play drives, taking five, six minutes off the clock, and just it was just a clinic on our offense. Time for another break. When we return, West St. John highlights plus St. James, homecoming. Who is the queen? We've got the answers after this. When you're driving down the road and you hear this noise, what do you do? It's simple. You call Laplace Glass at 985-652-4222. Give the make and model of your vehicle, tell them whether you're going through your insurance company, and let the professional staff at Laplace Glass take it from there. Go ahead and relax. It's a painless process. Laplace Glass, give us a break. We'll fix it. Remember to call us and compare. Kelly Buckwalter, 985-764-3833 for all of your insurance needs. Back here at the Buckwalter Insurance Group Studios, I'm Eric Ritchie. Let's get to West St. John, where once again the 1A Rams are on a roll, hosting Ascension Catholic. Already up 48-7 when our cameras showed up in the third quarter. How about the draw to perfection? That's Jeremy Jackson, part of a huge night for that young man. 128 yards on the ground on just seven carries, including two touchdowns. Fourth quarter now, Austin Howard, not so bad himself. 14 of 16, 248 yards in the air, three touchdowns, and there's one of them. Back to Jackson. Kylan Favorite added 107 yards on the ground, and West St. John's back to 500, 2-0 in the district after a 62-21 win over Ascension Catholic. It's the second season, and uh, we just got to get rolling. We got to, you know, um, I think the kids understand what's at hand. You know, our goals are still in front of us to win a district championship and, you know, still win a state championship. But um, you know, we just got to take care of business. You know, we can never overlook anybody. You just have to come out and, and play and, and just give it our best. I know I came out a little sluggish early in the season. I was just come out here and just play football. Coach Juan, Coach Peters just tell me, play with my eyes. I trust my eyes. I trust what I see and I just kept, kept going. Let's head off to St. James now, and there's a good look at number 10, Seth Keller. He's one of the leading tacklers in the state, indicative of the no-quit attitude at St. James, hosting a tough Brule team. Brule has that quarterback, Jake Kristoff, a quarterback keeper here. He had two touchdowns on the ground, also threw for a pair. Brule's got plenty of weapons. How about Carl Sell Alexander? An 18-yard touchdown. The Panthers led 14-0. But the Wildcats came up with their best offensive performance of the year. Daquan Sandoff, back at quarterback. Rushed for 130 yards on 16 carries. Also, 11 of 16 through the air. 113 yards passing. And the touchdown pass here to Rashawn Dennis, it was a 14-6 game. Later in the quarter, Alexander scores again, making it 20-6. St. James puts up 22 points, but they fall short to Bruley, 55-22. Let's now meet the homecoming court at St. James. I'm Lorena. Mercedes. Ariel. Caitlin. Shane. DeJay. And a pair of homecoming queens to congratulate. The defensive queen was Caitlin Bartholomew. On the offensive side, it was Ariel Armour. That will do it for now. For George Becknell, Lori Lyons, and Evan Palos, I'm Eric Ritchie. Thanks so much for logging on and watching our highlights right here on RiverParishFootball.com. It's a whole lot better for plan service than it is for demand service. That's why at Cajun Comfort, electrical air conditioning and heating, we've developed a unique umbrella for our customers known simply as Comfort Club. For AC units, it's the ESA. Energy Savings Agreement. You get two cleanings a year. Also with that, you get a 15% discount on any repairs you may need, and you get priority service, which to me is the most important thing. Comfort Club. Which also includes EPP. Electrical protection plan. We go through your panel and check all your breakers, check everything, make sure everything looks good, that way you don't have to worry about any kind of electrical fire in your home. Comfort Club. And for your generators. GMP. Generator maintenance program. We go through, we change the oil, we change filters. When the storm comes, your generator's up and ready to kick on for you. We're what satisfaction is supposed to feel like, and we guarantee that satisfaction 100%. Now's the time to call Cajun Comfort Electrical Air Conditioning and Heating, and just ask for... Comfort Club.